Hey guys, it's Rusty here, and I'm going to show you today how I build a hovercraft. Now, i got a couple of sheets of scrap foam here, and I'm just going to dive right in and start whipping one of these things out. I just got some tools and stuff spread out here on a bench, and let's do this. Now I'm going to take this piece right here, and I'm going to make it, let's say I'll make it uh, 12 inches wide. So I'll make a mark at 12. And I'm going to make this uh, 12 by 18. I'm going to make this one. So 12 right there. By 18. By 18. There's 18. Okay, that's one edge. That's the other edge is going to be right there and there. That and there's the hole marked out. Now what we don't need to do is put a hole in here, the circular hole. So we got 12 inches here. I'll mark a center line. I'll mark six inches. I'll mark six inches. And right along here, what I'll do is I'll come back. I'm going to use a 10-inch prop in this thing, so it's going to be a big prop for a small craft. We'll see how it works out. But I'll come back five inches and seven inches to give me two inches up front to clear the prop. So I'll make a mark at seven inches right there. I'll make sure that mark is at six inches. And this right here is going to be where we put our prop. That'll be the center of the prop. Now, right around here somewhere, here it is. I've got a little piece of string here. And let me see, I'm gonna grab something to poke this with. Now what I'm going to do to make the circle is very simple. Here's your mark. I got a just a tool here, just a shaft, anything you can poke through there. Screwdriver. This is a little hex head. Put that on there. Make a hole in there, and then just put that through the hole. And this is a, a um, this is a five-inch piece of string that I got for a ten-inch prop hole. That's my sharpie. And I'll just put this in here. Like, yay, try to hold this up straight, hold this up straight, and just go like this. Draw a circle, like this. Right there, there's a circle. This is your top hole. You just got to cut this out now. The way we're going to cut this out is I'm going to leave it in the circle. I'm going to leave it in first before I cut the outside off so I can cut the circle out really easily. I got a brand new blade on this snap blade, so it's nice and sharp. You want a nice sharp blade, the sharpest blade you get to do this with. Just stick it in there now and just trace this out like this. Just give it a little bit of sawing action, like this. And just, uh, there we go. Just go right around. Oops, I'm not trying to tear it. Just go right around like this. A little bit of sawing action. I'll go from this side now. This. Yeah. Just like this. Right around. And around there like that. And then what I'll do is once I get it most of the way through like that, I'll stick it through. I'll just try to break the rest of it out right here. I'm even going backwards with the blade right now. I'm not even cutting. I'm just pulling the blade backwards through it. I can turn the blade around and cut. A little bit there needs to be. But I'm just pulling the blade backwards through this thing and just breaking the little bit that I didn't cut. Right there in the bottom, you can see it's going through backwards. And I'm just following it. That way I don't cut a new hole. I just use the back of the blade to loosen this hole up. And let's pop it out. And then there's a circular hole right there. It's pretty close to what you want now. You just got to do a little tiny bit of sanding on there if you want it perfect. And while we're here with the razor blade, let's take this. We'll cut down this line here to here. And we'll cut down this line to here to here. Like that. And there's the top hole. And it's as simple as that. Now what we need... There's a bottom hole that's an inch smaller in every in every way. So we made this one 18 
by 12. So we need something here that's 16 by 10 is what we need. So I'm going to take this little scrap here. I'm going to come out to 16 inches. Right. Oops, let's see here, 16. I'm just going to do this like this. Let's see, 16. With a line right here. And by 10 inches, excuse me, by 10 inches. Here, let's see. I made my 16 there. I'll go 10 inches this way. Make sure that's it. That's a little over. Should be more like that. I'm just kind of doing this really quick by eyeball. There's a 16 right there. 10 inches. Now 10 inches over here is right there. Like this. There we go. There's a 10 inch bottom hole right here. Let's grab our blade. Put that aside. And we'll chop this out here. bottom hole. I like to do is on the bottom hole, I'll take this and I'll give the, the top side of the bottom hole a little bit of bevel, like this, about a 45 halfway through, about a, like that, I'm just sticking it in there, about halfway through a 45, and I'm pulling this really sharp blade back and just whoop, giving it a bevel, like that, bevel, 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 I'll bevel off some of this crap that's here too, like this piece is not exactly the best bevel because it was kind of hacked in the first place. Now here's a nice straight edge here. Let's go and take this one, get down like this, like that. Okay, there's the, there's the bottom. Let's cut a few spacers, shall we? Let's take this, let's take this, let's cut these here, and we'll cut like, let's see, one, two, Three, then we give us like six hole spacers there. Now what we could do is we'll take our top hole here and then we can stick these spacers right onto the top hole. Need a little glue and blam. A little bit of glue. And a little bit of glue. Just stick some just stick these spacers on like four around the hole. That running out of glue. And I do need my glue sticks. I have a few here. There we go. And we'll stick a couple more back here out at the edges. Like this. And like this. And let's move them in a little bit because the hull is gonna be while well, they're still warm here, we can move them. There we go. Now the hole, we're gonna, we're gonna need, remember the hole is one inch shorter, so we're gonna need a little bit to grab onto there. And that hole is gonna go on like that. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do here is attach the hole. So let's just start gluing these up here. We'll just shove some glue on here on these guys. Glue gun is not the biggest thing in the world, so I'm going to do the, the back of them here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball it and just place this down on here, wiggle it a little bit to spread some glue around. That. I'll come out to the front here. Now, shove some more in there, like that. Shove some more in there, like that. Okay. Now there's the there's the double hull right there. There's most of the craft there. What you want to do next is you want to make some sides on this thing. So I'm going to cut two pieces here that are 18 
by the thickness of this, which is actually through two, three inches, it's going to be. I use three one-inch sheets of foam. So I'm going to cut this to 18 inches and two sides out of here, which are basically three inches. I'm going to go a little bit less and cheat because I kind of running out of foam on this piece and I don't want to have to grab a whole new piece so that's like 18 inches there so I'm gonna go like just the this piece is just about five and a half so I'm gonna go like two and three quarters and just kind of scoot it down a little bit that's how I'm gonna cheat on this uh, you can do it at three inches you get the point if you don't get the point you know, ask me or something I'll clear it up for you of what I did. But I'm going to do that and that. And that about oh, there. Maybe like that. It's still not too straight. That line is. That. Well, I'll, just do this. I'll just take this and go slice those in half like that. And now I've got two walls. I don't even care. This is a little bit funky like that. Because I'm just going to slide it down to level anyways. And I'm going to do that just like this. I'm just going to get that, put the bottom on there, put that on there. Let's grab some more glue, probably get another stick coming up here. Like this, and just, hmm, just glue this up. Let's get some glue on here. Yeah, this glue gun isn't the best, the most capacity. It's a good glue gun, but it doesn't have the capacity to do a big long run like this. You gotta kind of cheat a little bit again, so I'm gonna shove that on there. But it, that's the biggest glue gun I could really run because I'm on a uh, solar power. Oops, I just broke that piece. I'm gonna glue that back together before it goes anywhere. Like this. Like that. You gotta be careful of that before you put it back together. But there's one of the sides. Like that. Do the other side the same way. We'll just drop that flat into the ground like that. Let's get a, a run of glue on here. Like that. Push that up there like that. Just shove that all together and move it around a little bit, spread the glue, push that wall that we broke earlier right in there, or that I broke, say we, I'm the one who pushed it in, so. And now all you need after this is some end caps on there. And of course, those are going to be 12 by 3, so let's see, I could probably get a, a couple out of this. Is this 12 wide? Yep, this one's 12 wide. So I can go like this, I can go 12 by Three, twelve by three, like that. Oops. Got them on the other side. I need, I need another six on here. I need twelve by three, three, and three. Close enough. Whatever. They're about right there. Okay, just grab these marks here, like that one and that one. Whip that off. Grab this and this right here. Let's whip that off. There's the end caps. Now, I'll need another stick here. Load up like this. Okay, there we go. We got glue action going. Let's test fit these. These are going to fit, so I'll just start running some glue here. 